Ashy Boy, the Stealth King of Warframe and an absolutely amazing endurance frame. One of the top frames for going to level cap in my opinion. Why? Well, stealth, armor stripping, and just general versatility of his kit. He does have some issues that I've heard people bring up about him, but nonetheless, he is still a very capable frame and can do all content comfortably. Abilities. You know how this goes? I go over them quite briefly, just so you understand the frames, so stick with me. Passive is beat effects do 25% increased damage and last 50% longer. Yep, so that means you want to use stash-based weapons with Ash because then you do a lot more damage. First ability is Shuriken, which in itself is actually not that great of an ability but becomes useful when you use the augment called seeking shuriken which is your armor stripping ability it's not the best armor stripping ability overall because you literally only throw two shurikens at once and can only armor strip two enemies at a time however it's still a very capable armor stripping ability when it comes to a lot tankier targets like demolishers thraxes and acolytes second ability is smokescreen which is your invisibility which is your best defense ash's second ability is really good only problem is the fact that the duration is quite low. Third one is teleport, which teleports you to your enemies and makes them vulnerable to finishes. Personally, this is my subsume slot here. It does have very high range, but I, it's, it's just, it's not that good. I have to be honest with you. Fourth ability is Bladestorm, which basically marks a whole bunch of enemies and creates clones of him that perform finishes on enemies and apply slash. Personally, I don't enjoy this ability. I never land up using it as it can be quite energy hungry when built in a certain way. However, I will show you a build that you can use with this ability. This leads me on to the builds, which we have quite a few for you today. The first setup we have is the Expedite Suffering build. This setup does require you to have casting speed because this ability is so slow. It's slow. However, this is a niche setup and requires you to have a weapon that either applies a lot of slash or toxin. And what this ability does is applies all the slash damage at once. Really fun with certain setups, but it's not practical in all types of scenarios. It's only really good for disruption. The next build is a funny one. Now, this is a gloom build that I have put together when using incarnate weapons that require you to have a channeled ability active for its buffs. And it's a funny one because it literally has no range on it. So it's basically useless in some cases unless you're right in front of the enemy. But it works, especially for the Kunai in Conan build video that I just did, which I will put in the cards on the top right. So go and check that out. It does big PP damage. Moving on to the third ability, which is the one I use for level cap runs. This is my most used build. It is a raw and Zartus whisper setup. It's the exact same build. I just rotate between the different helmets. So don't change anything if you're going to change over to Raw or Zartus Whisper. And of course, you subsume over Ash's third ability. Seeking Shuriken for armor stripping. Build for a bit of strength and duration. You don't need range. And you have Breeze for Spite for shield gating for slightly more defense in case you do get hit by certain enemies while this. And use a slash based weapon with this build and you will be good to go. I have gone to level cap plenty of times with this exact setup. The next setup is a Savage Silence setup, which is the build we use to build for Ash's fourth ability. So we subsume Silence and put on Savage Silence the augment because Ash's fourth scales off a of finisher damage and savage silence increases your finisher damage by 862 percent with my current strength so the more strength you have the more damage you do the only problem with this build is energy sustain but equilibrium will solve that quite nicely for you and arcane energize Overall, not my favorite playstyle, but it works and it can be fun to some people. Also, we use Arcane Trickery to trigger invisibility on finisher kill, but remember your clones need to actually kill the enemy for this to proc and not have them die by your slash proc. For the last setup, we go with Clips for that flat damage because remember when you cast the Clips in the light and get the damage bonus, if you go and Viz after that, you will permanently maintain that damage buff. Even when you go into any darkness or shade, you won't lose that damage boost at all, which is quite nice, but it can can be tedious if you accidentally cast Eclipse in the dark and then go invis again and then you have to wait until you run out of invisibility to recast it again. It's tedious in some moments, otherwise pretty good. If you want to build Ash without any helmet then just go for a balanced setup with high-ish duration and a mix of everything with rolling guard of course. Now how to play Ash? If you are playing the endurance build that I am running you just stay invisible, armor strip your enemies, keep raw or Zartus whisper on or whatever you have subsumed and just destroy your enemies with the weapons. But there is more. I'm going to provide you with some weapon recommendations that work really, really well with Ash. And these are weapons that I've used myself and taken to level cap as well. And also I will supply the builds too. First up on the list is the Fenmore. 
the one and only encounter weapon that shreds everything especially with ash because of these slash procs here is the setup we run works extremely well with the endurance build next up is the convectrix need i say more it's literally the slash king it's disgusting with ash with raw the nataruk is also very good because of the massive slash procs this weapon gives and red crits and then the cedo which is also really good for priming and applying slash procs from hunting munitions kuva comb with toxin to make viral of course again hunting munitions and a lot of slash procs from the shotgun and then we have the glaive prime which is just uh perfect <laughs> you just can't go wrong with the glaive prime with ash it does so much damage the point is any weapon with hunting munitions or slash will do well with ash kind of rhymed Kind of funny now ash prime even though his armor stripping ability isn't the best i still think it's one of the best endurance frames in warframe and it's really capable of doing so it's, it's so easy to take to level cap if you haven't done level cap and you would like to try it then i would highly recommend playing ash and he's a stealth frame too so you just that's pretty cool and that's ash and also here is my fashion frame because some people have asked me before otherwise that is the video i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like the video it really supports me a lot and pushes my videos out and if you enjoyed the video a lot then consider subscribing to see some more content that is going to be coming your way thanks for watching i will see you all in the next one